I speak to you in the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Did you hear that? That sounds like it's coming from the mountain. Here is your God. What a strong voice. What confidence. That's Isaiah. He wasn't always that confident. In fact, just the other day, I heard him asking, what would I say? Who'd listen? People are so fickle. They're here today, gone tomorrow. What would I tell them? I don't know who he was speaking with, but a voice much stronger than his said, get you up to a high mountain, O Zion, herald of good tidings. Lift up your voice with strength. O Jerusalem, herald of good tidings, lift it up. Do not fear. Say to all people, here is your God. And it sounds like he did. Good old Isaiah, I knew he had it in him. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. He talked of the coming of a shepherd, a shepherd who will gather the lambs, Hold them close and lead them like a mother sheep. Comfort for all people. That's just what God told Isaiah to do. Comfort, oh, comfort my people. God knows what we need. We need to feel the sheltering arms of our Savior. We need to place our trust in the one who will change our life. Oh, there are no shortage of things that we're told will change our life but most are not so beneficial, especially spiritually. You've heard the voices, mostly in advertising. Buy a big house, it'll change your life. Drive a high-end, fully loaded car, it'll change your life. One of my favorites. Buy the new, improved wrinkle-off, <laughs> it'll change your life. And then there's the voice of the Lord, the one saying, hear the word of the Lord. It'll change your life. That's the voice that needs to be as strong as Isaiah's was that day standing on the mountain, crying, here is your God. The time is now, says PayPal CEO about cryptocurrencies. But when God says it, it takes on a whole new meaning. Did you hear that? Sounds like it's coming from the wilderness. Hear it? Prepare the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. A voice crying out, just like Isaiah. The one who is more powerful than I is coming. Prepare his way. Make his path straight. It's John. John the baptizer. He's continuing the work that Isaiah began all those years ago. Make straight in the desert a highway. Isn't it odd that the highway still isn't complete? They started it ages ago. They must have the same construction crew that's working on that exit from the 401 to McAllen. Oh, that it was that easy to pass off our responsibilities for preparing the way of the Lord. There's an urgency in both Isaiah and in John's voices. Prepare the way, make it ready. Come on, God's people. Enough with the watching and waiting without any preparation. We hear the urgency. There seems to be a general complacency among God's people. Ah, we'll just sit here and watch and wait and see how it goes. Well, if God said to Isaiah, get up on a high mountain and cry out, God says the same thing to us. Get up, wake up. Prepare. The day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. Will it find us living lives of holiness and righteousness? Or will that day find us waiting and watching, doing nothing to make our paths straight? Advent may be a time of waiting, but we have much to do before the Lord comes. If God's people worked diligently each day, we wouldn't need to hear these passages over and over, read and reread each year. Here is your God. 
This proclamation of the presence of God is a call to bring the people back to the steadfast love of God, back to the comfort and the strong yet gentle shepherd. This image of God is new for the people who've been in exile, who have felt alienated from their land and from their God. I believe that there are a lot of people around today who still feel alienated. Acts of domestic violence are increasing as families struggle with being cooped up with few or no options for relief. People feeling isolated and alone. Depression is on the rise. Some are feeling hopeless. We hear anger, emptiness, dejection. When will the pandemic end? When, I, when can I turn on the radio or the TV and not hear horrifying numbers of sick and death? Where is our God? Into this core of hurt and anger, emptiness and dejection and alienation comes the voice proclaiming Jesus Christ. Make straight the way of the Lord. We need this cry as much today as they needed it in Isaiah's time over 2,000 years ago. The way of the Lord has become badly obscured by the tendencies to seek our own way. The nations who would be guided by God have taken things into their own hands. Violence has become a way of life for many countries, and we're no stranger to violence right here in our own communities. Gun and gang violence is on the rise, and we've come to a point where brazen daylight shootings happen not infrequently, as we saw last week. No, we don't live with outright war in Canada, but every day we hear of acts of hatred, of gender-based violence, prejudice and injustice against God's people, actions that do not proclaim a knowledge of God or of God's peace. When the day of the Lord comes, will we be leading peaceful, godly lives? Will we have helped create a world, a new earth, where righteousness is at home, where peace is a way of life for all God's people? Think of it. It's a sad commentary on society when righteousness is not at home, and in fact is often put down. Strive to be found in peace when the Lord comes, we're told. We have work to do. If salvation is to be ours, we have many areas of our life to straighten out. Friends, spiritual couch potatoes will not be ready. We must get us up, prepare the way of the Lord, which really means get ourselves ready. Spend time in prayer in reflection on who we are as God's people, inspired by the words of the prophets who've gone before us, we must turn our disobedient hearts to the Lord. Really work to live lives in godliness and holiness. Honestly, it's a big job, and we don't know when the day will come. But do not fear. When the day of the Lord comes, we're told, then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all people shall see it together. What a joyful picture that paints. If we want to be worthy to stand before the Lord on the, that day, we have changes to make. And Advent is the perfect time to make them. Lord, give us the power to prepare your way for the coming of your Son, the Messiah, Jesus the Christ. Folks, we're two candles in and counting.